Hey guys, we're aiming for 70,000 subscribers by the end of March. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do consider clicking that sub button to support me and Dolly. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello lovely little beans, my name is B, and welcome back to another video. This is the last video for today, you guys, so I hope you are enjoying all the videos that I've been posting, and thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting them. Today, you guys, I am very excited because today's video is actually in regards to something quite important. Something I really want to talk about that's been happening a lot in the Royal High community lately and has been upsetting me quite a bit and recently it reached a bit of a tipping point for me. It's just me in today's video with no dolly because she is going to sit out of this one since it's kind of an important one and I'd really like to get something across to you guys. So lately you guys you may know that lots of YouTubers have been under a lot of fire. In the Royal High community, there has been such a push for people to not copy each other, for people to not steal from each other, not use each other's ideas about credit, etc., that it's taken on a really toxic level. Basically, you guys, this has been a problem for a while. Obviously, copying people is not acceptable. But in most communities on YouTube, there are people who take inspiration and give credit for various videos. But also, there's always a chance that somebody thinks of an idea, you guys, uses it, but doesn't realize somebody else had the same idea. Yeah. It doesn't mean they copied, it just means they had the same idea. Lately, it's been taken to an almost toxic level with the level of people bashing people for even slightly potentially copying, even if they didn't, to the point where people are too scared to post certain video ideas. And I see YouTubers tweeting that they're afraid to make certain videos in case people get mad and try to call them out for copying. This makes me feel really sad. And even for me as well, as a Royal High YouTuber, I definitely get affected by this. I am too afraid to make certain videos when I have ideas in case somebody else has already made the idea and I missed it. I search all over YouTube trying to make sure that nobody else has the idea and it really, really freaks me out trying to make sure that nobody has the same idea as me. I get really panicked trying to figure out exactly what it is and if they've done it before or if somebody else's video could be similar to mine and it's got to a point where it's like almost crazy because it's stunting all of our creativity but also recently there has been a big stint of people making posts and nasty things about youtubers in the royal high community obviously we already have to deal with people like that one channel who i'm not going to name who keeps making nasty videos about other youtubers but lately people have been doing it on twitter including to me and on the royal high reddit I would like to say the Royal High Reddit is not an official Royal High page, it is fan run, but lots of people use it and lately there has been a lot of posts on there that are going against YouTubers. Now recently, I don't think that anybody actually thought who was posting these negative posts that us YouTubers were reading them, but I decided to write a response post in response to that message because I thought it was really important. I will definitely leave a link down below to that response post or you can go on the reddit I don't know if you're allowed to leave links if you're not then go on to the reddit the royal high reddit and you can read it But I put a response on there basically saying that if you just spoke to a lot of youtubers you guys A lot of the problems will be resolved if youtubers think that another youtuber has copied them If they just message them they could find out a little while ago I won't give details but a little while ago another youtuber messaged me because they thought I'd made a video that was copying and making fun of something that they had done and it was actually just a misunderstanding you guys where I had typed something slightly different in my description and decided I wanted to use a different title for the video but we forgot to change the description so it made it seem like I had used something that they had used I explained myself to them and we both realized that it was just a mistake and then we went on being really positive and being supportive of each other because it was just a mistake however if she had chosen to call me out and try to cancel me on Twitter and be toxic instead of just talk to me, it probably would have made a whole drama for no reason. That just proves how important it is to just communicate. All you have to do is take one moment to message someone, tweet someone, whatever it might be, to ask them something. On my post that somebody made against me on the reddit recently somebody said that my giveaways were fake which is absolutely not true i always make sure to give you guys the items you guys literally can see my live streams where i give away my items for free and then do all of my different giveaways and i've got multiple people who can say who have won my giveaways who i've given things to i'm sure many of you who are watching the stream or watching my videos or even just watching this video right now will be able to comment down below and say that you've probably got an item from me because i give away 
so many of them. In fact, if you have received a giveaway item from me, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know if you got one of my items. Because it makes me feel really sad that people would go to those lengths to make those posts about me and say that I had fake things or was lying, when if they took one moment just to ask me, they would be able to see that I always fulfill my giveaways and I give away plenty of items. And I would have been able to answer their questions and show them that straight away, and then they would never have had to make that post in the first place. For some reason, people think that being toxic or nasty or posting about people is the solution to the problems. People calling YouTubers clickbaiters, people calling us out, saying mean things, saying we over-exaggerate. One person said that I am too excited in my videos, which I thought was funny because I'm quite monotone and boring, I think, but apparently I'm too excited. But would you rather I wasn't excited? Of course I'm trying to be excited. My videos are for young people that I want you to be excited too. I want to make it feel positive and everybody feel good about themselves while they're watching them. So of course it doesn't make sense for me to be negative and not happy. This isn't a negative game, you guys. Royal High is a positive game. Roblox is a positive game. The whole point of making Roblox videos is to make people happy. I do it to create a positive community, make people happy, and because it's my job, you guys. Of course that's important too. For some reason, people make YouTubers feel bad for YouTube being their job. They almost like say things to them like you're just doing this for views or things like that. But you would never say that to a big YouTuber. You only say it to the small ones because you think we shouldn't be doing things to try to get views when that's our job and it is our job. A lot of us, it's our only job. And if we don't do it, we can't pay our bills and we'll end up being homeless and can't make videos anyway. It seems really strange to me because it's like you got, not everybody, but the people who are mean only consider big, big YouTubers to be successful and full time. And therefore they think that we just copy them all the time. And that is not true. I am friends with Leah. I am friends with Sana. I am friends with Megan. I am friends with Cyber. I am friends with the big YouTubers. Why would I want to copy them? There's no reason for me to want to copy or ruin anything that they do because they are my friends. They don't see things like that. They don't think that their friends are copying them. They think that they're all getting to play the game that they love together and make videos and get to work on a platform together that they enjoy. So can everybody take a moment before you post anything nasty about another YouTuber or any other person at all, think about what you're going to say and maybe consider messaging them first. Because sometimes when you are going to be angry or write posts about people, some people deserve it. Some people aren't good people. But don't waste your time being mean or toxic to someone who's a good person because you're just going to make them feel bad and that's how we ruin good people and make them into bad people because they start to think that there's no point in being good if everyone's still going to be mean to them anyway. Now I got a lot of really positive responses from my post on Reddit and lots of people said that they were happy that I spoke out about it and that some people even apologised for previous things they had done. I know that sometimes it seems like the right thing to do to get angry at someone in comments or shout on Twitter about something but please try to think really carefully about how you would feel if it was you in that situation. You might see a royal high character right now and just hear my voice but I'm still a person who's sitting here recording it who has feelings and emotions like everyone else and so does every other YouTuber you watch. So please try to bear that in mind when you're thinking about saying something rude to them and of course to the devs as well because they are people too. None of us are robots, we're not content machines, we don't just make things automatically. We have to sit here, we have to read those comments and we have to try hard and if we read nasty comments it makes us not want to try hard you guys. Anyways, that's a big negative thing to talk about and I feel bad for talking about something in such a negative person just having a big, big negative video. But I really wanted to talk about it because I think it's really important that people think a little bit more carefully before they speak or also think carefully about their actions. Because sometimes you can hurt people even without meaning to just by saying something mean and it's better to just think about what you're saying first. And please, if you have a problem with somebody, contact them first because what you're thinking is the issue might not be the issue to them or they might not have even realised that they've done something wrong. Like, for example, if you see a YouTuber who's posted a video and you think they've copied someone else, tell them nicely. Don't comment, you copied this YouTuber or, oh my gosh, you copied. Just say, hey... Don't want to be rude, but I think that maybe you might have accidentally copied someone else's idea or somebody else did this first. Could you please credit them? And most YouTubers will say, yes, of course, I will credit them. And then you've just helped them. They probably just didn't even notice in the first place, you guys. And also, when you're thinking about those things, do remember, it's not impossible for two people to have the same idea. I might think of an idea right now to make all of my Royal High items out of chocolate. But that doesn't mean somebody else hasn't already done it. And if they did, does that mean I stole their idea? No, because I haven't seen the video. I just thought of it on the spot. 
but sometimes two people have the same idea, you guys. It's a very saturated platform. There's lots of people on YouTube. There's lots of us trying to think of ideas. So sometimes we might get the same ones. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for listening to me rambling on. Please just try to be a little bit more positive and try to spread kindness because it goes a long way and you have no idea what some people might be going through in their lives and your kindness could change everything. I love you all lots. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, of course, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.